Fellow Australians, it is my melancholy duty to inform you officially that in consequence of a persistence by Germany in her invasion of Poland, Great Britain has declared war upon her and that as a result, Australia is also at war. Threatened by a seemingly unstoppable Nazi Germany, Great Britain found herself in dire need of trained pilots. Australia, New Zealand and Canada answered the call in December 1939, joining with Britain to create the Empire Air Training Scheme. Through this training scheme, Australia sent 28,000 Royal Australian Air Force pilots and aircrew to the fight, joining squadrons based in Britain. Australian airmen in Europe served in all the major campaigns of the war. While our airmen flew in the Battle of Britain, over the Mediterranean and across North Africa, the major contribution made by Australians to victory in Europe was the support to RAF Bomber Command. The numbers of Australian pilots, navigators, wireless operators and other aircrew peaked in early 1945. More often than not, they joined squadrons and air crews from a range of other nations, making Bomber Command's fight against the so-called Nazi master race truly multinational. In the early years of the war, Bomber Command deployed a range of aircraft. But from 1942, the true workhorse of the British air campaign was the Avro Lancaster. With its unrivaled bomb load, range and superior cruising altitude, the four-engined Lancaster bomber became a legendary symbol of Britain's war effort. Over 7,300 Lancasters were manufactured. The arrival of the Lancaster coincided with a new commander taking charge of Bomber Command, Air Marshal Sir Arthur Bomber Harris. In mid-February 1942, Britain was at a low ebb in the war, having suffered major defeats in Europe. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and his military chiefs were determined to hit back. Bomber Command provided the opportunity, and it was now issued with a new directive to pursue area bombing, the bombing of cities, a controversial strategy the newly appointed Harris would pursue with great enthusiasm. Australians in Bomber Command took part in the devastating campaigns against Germany's industrial heartland, the Ruhr Valley. Our airmen also took part in huge raids, up to 1,000 bombers strong, targeting cities such as Cologne, Hamburg and Berlin. It was Harris who perfected the destructive power of area bombing. Massed squadrons of Lancasters dropping incendiary and high explosive bombs creating firestorms that consumed whole cities, like the annihilation of Dresden in 1945, a raid that remains controversial to this day. Defending their cities, Germany countered with sophisticated defense involving radar-guided searchlights, heavy anti-aircraft guns, and deadly night fighter aircraft. Bomber Command squadrons paid a terrible price. Of 125,000 air crews, 55,573 were killed, an astonishing and terrible loss of life. From the 10,000 Australians serving in Bomber Command, more than one in three would be killed. Hundreds more were wounded. Over a thousand became prisoners of war. The losses sustained by RAAF Bomber Command air crews amounted to 20% of all Australian combat deaths during the war. Of the Australian squadrons, 460 Squadron lost the most men, with over 1,000 killed, including nearly 600 Australians. These statistics make number 460 Squadron's Lancaster G for George, which is displayed at the Australian War Memorial, a most remarkable survivor. Built in 1942, this Lancaster flew a total of 89 missions over Nazi-occupied Europe between December 1942 and April 1944, the very height of Bomber Command's offensive. 
In bringing all crewmen home safe, it beat incredible odds. George was retired from active service in 1944 and flew to Australia where it became a celebrity, raising funds for the war effort. There are only a handful of Lancasters left in the world today, making George a very special exhibit at the Australian War Memorial.